It's a great pleasure to welcome you to the Crown Plaza Marina. We wish you a very romantic honeymoon. I hope you will have a memorable stay. Love that for us. Cute. Fit check. What's the fit saying? Damn, love cold? that. Too cold. Rate, rate it 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Cold. Yeah, so guys, right now we're in the process. This is literally the hotel lobby. We're in the process of booking the Red Dune Safari. We're just negotiating over the price right now. We spoke to someone earlier, but that person has gone now. So we're speaking to the colleague right now. Uh, and let's see what comes of it. And then after this, I am literally in the process of ordering a cab as well. We're going to the focused. You know, but we're going to Dubai Miracle Gardens. I don't know if you can see it. So let's see what comes of it. There's two minutes away. We have just reached our first stop, which is Dubai Miracle Garden. We're gonna be here. We've got the tickets already, which we bought from the hotel lobby. Uh, let's get the tickets out now, actually. And we are gonna go in now. See you guys inside. Baby elephant, isn't it? I love elephants, that's so cute. Let me get a picture of you with it. Basically what happened was, yeah, today morning, I came early in the morning to Miracle Gardens while she was sleeping, and I built all that for you. <laughs> I love that. Yes, look at this. This right here is my dream. Because why? Why? Can you because guess why? Because you love tea. I love tea, exactly. <laughs> This is it. When you when you when you when we go back home yes. and you make tea for me, this is what I see happening. Flowers coming out. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I've just spent the past. Oh my god, I saw a sign that says Karak Chai. We're going there next. What but you know, I, I said to my wife, yeah, yeah, let me go get ice cream. And then she kept making excuses to go away because I've just realized. She knows if I have ice cream in my hand, I won't be able to take more pictures of her. Of course, of course. Oh my god, look at that. That genie reminds me of you. Why? Because we both got abs. Oh, shush. No, because you fulfill all my wishes as well. You know what I think. Love that for me. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was, you know the flight that we came on, the Emirates flight? Yeah. I thought, you man, let me get the keys. <laughs> I've got the keys parked in here and I've decorated it just for you. Oh, love that. Look at all that I did for you, bruv. What a waffle, shush. <laughs> love that. Hi, guys. We have just finished up from Miracle Garden. We've just got a cab now, and now we are at Dubai Mall. Let's go. How long go. was the journey? 35 minutes. Yeah. 40 minutes. There's a bit of traffic, wasn't there? It took a bit of time because come so please. It took a bit of time because there was traffic. Yes, you okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why did my guy horn out on the side? Is that Pakistan? They horn at you for no reason. <laughs> All right, guys. So now we're using my iPhone because my camera has died. Uh, but yes, right now we are on the way to the top. Me and my wife are going to the top of Burj Khalifa. So I've been to Dubai before, but I haven't done this as well. So this is a new experience for me as well. We've got the two tickets. And yeah, we are on the way to the top of the world's tallest building. And we've got some fun facts on here. If you weigh the total amount of concrete used to make Burj Khalifa, it would equal approximately 100,000 elephants. That's crazy. That's crazy. So in 2004, I think the building work started in 2005, the superstructure started. In 2006, they had 50 levels, is that what it says? In 2007, they had 100 levels. In 2007, it became the world's tallest freestanding structure. Wow. Seven eight world's tallest man-made structure. Wow. In 2009, it was completion of Spire. And that is 09, again, cladding completed. And that is the bush right there. Wow. Wow. Absolutely extraordinary. Damn. Crazy speed, look how fast I'm falling, we don't even feel it, that's how fast I'm falling. 
That's mad. It's like going up in a plane. You know when you don't feel it. That's crazy. Can you feel your ears popping? This is crazy. Guys, we have made it to the top in the elevator. Now we're right now we're on the balcony of the 124th floor of the Burj Khalifa. Wow, that is crazy, crazy. Perfect time. Yeah, this the is sun's actually, just about right to set. Right now, the time is 2:10 in the UK, which means it is 6:10 over here. Sunset is at 6:20, so we're at perfect time. Perfect time. Guys, you won't believe where we are. You won't believe where I am with my wife. Come, let me show you something. Come. You are now entering a shooting zone. We are at the JA Shooting Club in Dubai. We're going to be shooting some guns. Alhamdulillah, I love that my wife is excited about a fire. I don't know what she's training for. <laughs> I should be a bit worried, but yeah, so basically I've come here before with my friends, we really enjoyed the last time we came, that's why I've come here again now, second time with my wife. Most likely, we're going to be shooting handguns, I don't want to damage or injure my wife's wrist, or maybe you can shoot a handgun, I might shoot a bigger gun, uh, but yeah, I'm quite excited, there's a little competition, yeah, you ready for the competition? <laughs> Love that. Guys, we've chosen the guns. So since I've been here before, this is my wife's first time. My wife is shooting the Glock 17. Crazy. Gang shit. <laughs> so she's using Glock 17. I'm shooting, this has been recommended to me. It's a Glock 19X. Apparently it has a bit more of a kickback. And then also, as well as that handgun, I am also shooting. Where's it gone? This one here. I'm also uh, shooting this Uzi. X95, crazy, this one, this one looks crazy. I've, I haven't shot this before, I've shot the handgun before, but again, this is the first time I'm trying this SMG submachine gun. I am excited. Guys, I've just shot the Uzi. This is the result. You know my thing, man, the straight shoot assist thing, sorry. Crazy. So now we are getting the Glock 19. Crazy. Yo. So, How like was said, it first of all? Let's see. That was absolutely crazy, bro. The Uzi. Yeah. My shoulder would move back this much. That's crazy. It was nuts. But you know, man's an alpha male straight. This is my Uzi 95. Oh, damn. I love that. <laughs> Let me see that. Yeah. I have a tiger. Crazy. <laughs> Uzi 95. X. Love that. Anyone break into my house and I, I had an Uzi at home, which I don't. They're finished. 100%. Can you show my one as well? Let me show you my wife. Look how proud I am of her. Yeah, he said I was really good for a Master first timer. Like, really, really. Look at this. She had a Glock 17, bro. I think my girl is from Syrac, Chicago. Love that. Look, look at, at that. those. Look at those center ones I look did. At that. Oh my god. Love that for me. So you're so scared of my wife. <laughs> bro, she's got this whilst wearing a floral dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before people get in, quick update, fit check. Cold. Love that. The reason why we're, my wife and me are wearing matching clothes is we're gonna go have breakfast now. We're gonna go to the Dubai Mall, do a bit of shopping, and then we are going to do a day in the Dubai desert. 
So Pinchon. it's like a whole thing from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. You have camel riding, you have a barbecue buffet, you have some haram stuff like belly dancing, we're watching Which that. you're gonna close your eyes for? I'm gonna close my eyes, I'm gonna look away, I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna start praying namaz. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> you haven't shown them breakfast, have you? No, come with me, show them. Yeah. This is the hotel breakfast. It's just an international buffet. Let's get let's get to you because you can keep rolling. Hi, Hi. Morning. morning, how are you? How are you? Yeah. Um, Two one one four. Two one one four. And then the Yeah. Like indoors or outdoors? Indoors. We've got some egg benedicts over here, chicken sausages, some uh, sauteed hash potatoes, some mushrooms, turkey bacon, sunny fried eggs, and we've got beans hiding underneath there as well. We've got some toast, I've got an ice latte. And I've got green juice. Love that. What is up, guys? I was just having this conversation with my wife. I was telling her how I'm quite worried about my health. I don't feel like I've been eating enough recently. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Guys, right now we are in the Dubai Mall for the second time. Yesterday we were here, but yesterday we didn't really do shopping. Uh, we were too busy trying to work out where the entrance is to the Burj Khalifa and going to the top of Burj Khalifa. So today we've got like at least two hours, alhamdulillah. Alright, let's go. Let's go in and do some shopping. store by the way there's two floors the bottom floor is ladies and the top floor is men all right so we are gonna go in let's see the full fit with that love that <laughs> I will take you downstairs. We have like a big board okay. of uh, tags of Louis Vuitton. It will be oh, a better nice. view. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Love that box. Thank you. So, with our bag. Got a big bag for you and a small bag for samples <laughs> for me. So, I bought my girls some samples. <laughs> They're for free. <laughs> oh, where are they? We got perfumes. I know we're going to try pronouncing that one. So, what did I buy you? Go on, tell Meteor. them. Meteor and spell on you so we're here hi guys quick update we have just got out of our 4x4 just show them the 4x4 it's the land cruiser on the left that one there that's it oh, it's not focusing oh, my. Just go. let's go Sand dune. We have just done, I think, about 15 20 minutes, 15 yeah. minutes of dune buggy driving, which was amazing. Sick experience, isn't it? Honestly, it was I so good. It. Especially when there's like this really yeah. big, like, bounce. Oh, this is like stuff. some GTA race. <laughs> Man, that know about GTA. It's a GTA race. Uh, so, what's gonna happen now? We're gonna get back in. Do you wanna drive, babes? No. Okay, I'm gonna drive again. <laughs> <laughs> They have a center stage where all the performances will happen and then they've got all the seating area. At the back, we'll show you in a second, they have stalls as well, like you can get Mendy done and etc. What did we pay for? Standard, Standard price. Where are we going now? Premium. Premium. 
You know what? They know me. They saw me as a come premium. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Where is Oh, the sky looks so stunning, mashallah. So now we're gonna get food. I'm starving, man. Yeah, well, the last time we ate was breakfast. What is up, guys? We have just come from the breakfast place. We were running a bit late today, so I couldn't actually record the breakfast. Uh, but this is an unboxing video. <laughs> cool. So, and then the bag comes wrapped like this. Cool. Let's open the ribbon. There's a little note in there. We'll come back to that. Love that for me. Love you so much. You're the best husband okay, ever. Cool. I feel so happy. So the bag looks like this. Uh, the box already looks like this. <coughs> we open it. Comes in a nice dust bag. Folded. Jeez, look at that. Look at that. Love that. Cold. Cold. Okay. We're going for a classy look. Classy look. Cold. Got a little zip at the back. Make sure there's nothing inside because I'm not wearing it back today. Okay, cool. So let's make the bag a bit more bigger. And this is how the bag looks. Love that. Let me zoom Cold. in. Let me zoom in. You got a pocket space, pocket, and a little pocket there. Cool, so yeah, I'm gonna be wearing the bag today, so let me put some stuff in. But I was just telling my wife this, yeah? Now that we're in UAE, I can actually wear the bag without a problem, thinking someone's gonna kill me for it. In London, people are killing each other over Canada Goose jacket, so if they see this, they're gonna kill me. But, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> can you see me, yeah? So guys, right now, we are on our way from Dubai to Abu Dhabi. We are going straight to the Grand Mosque. So we have just made it. Inside of the mosque is absolutely beautiful. What is up, guys? So we have just finished up from the Abu Dhabi uh, Grand Sheikh Zayed Mosque. And look where we landed. So basically, what's happened is love that for me. For who? <laughs> For me. <laughs> so my, my girl, my wife goes here, yeah? my roommate goes here. Yeah? <laughs> Apparently it's a trend or it's a tradition that when you come to Dubai or when you come to UAE, you have to buy something for your wife and go. There's two places, when you go Saudi Arabia and when you go Dubai, what about, you have what, to buy your wife about gold. The, what about the 15,000 pounds worth of gold I gave to you like a week ago? <laughs> huh? That's separate. Huh? <laughs> for God's sake. Are we actually going to go in? Uh, so the plan is to buy some jewellery. I'll buy my wife something nice. Inshallah. In silver Love though. that for me now. Good. <laughs> In silver. <laughs> and then, uh, I think we're going to buy something for our mums as well. Inshallah. My mum and my mother-in-law. Inshallah. So let's see what they've got. Bismillah. Inshallah. Let's go. Did I bring you here or did you bring me here? <laughs> I hate traditions. Love you. <laughs> Cold. These are all, by the way, presents to my wife. Mm -hmm. To my mom, to my mother in law, to my sister. I love them all. I love the women in my family. They keep killing me. Show them. I love that. Oh. Yeah, this is good. This is cooked. So basically, you know, today we're not eating. Tomorrow at breakfast, make sure you eat. We wake up at 6 a.m., have a breakfast, wake up at 10 a.m., have breakfast again. <laughs> I love that. This is what husbands should do. This is what husbands do best. This is husband husbanding. Video or decline? Okay. 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 Okay.
I got cooked. So like I said earlier, we were in the gold center. And I got cooked. Well guys, right now we are in the global village. We've literally just come through the entrance. The first thing was Turkey. Over here is Pakistan. If you follow me in, let's see what Pakistan has actually got. From the outside I can see a lot of clothing. And uh, clothing, yeah, I don't, I don't see any food. It's literally Hey look, it says, it says Shahi Chilla. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a lot of clothing. And I can see some food now. So that's basically what Global Village is. It's got all the countries, I think most countries of the world here. And then, look, you've got the Pakistani street food over there. Tea over here, Falud and all that stuff. This is all the Pakistani foods that you have. I think this is what they've done for all the countries. They bring a bit of their culture, like clothing and food. And it's basically for everyone to visit. So we've just got here now, we're going to explore a bit. Check Pakistan out, maybe get some tea. And try to visit as many countries as we can. So from the Pakistan stand, we have got some Golgappe. Damn. Ready, say Bismillah. Bismillah, you're going to feed me? Yep. Mm. How is it? Mm. So right now we have just come into Japan and I want to try these cheesecakes. Come in. Like I've always seen them, yeah? But that's, what, that's Japanese pancakes where they're a bit fluffy and fat. But anyways, these are called cheesecakes, so let's go try them. So we have just got the cheesecake. I mean, all it says is cheesecake. That's all it says. <laughs> and it was made today. It was made today. Cool. So I'm gonna open it and give a give, give a bite. Bismillah. Let's try the cheesecake. Look how fluffy it is. You try, Jenny. <laughs> no, it's alright, it's alright, it's decent. Here. Thank you. So yeah, we're just walking around right now the global village. One thing I found which is really interesting is it's actually quite genuine. I thought that yes that each country has their own spot, but they actually have um, their own types of food as well, which is really really cool. What is up guys? Today is our last full day That's in crazy. Dubai, which is crazy. So today we actually had a very, very lazy morning, Alhamdulillah, we just chilled because the last nine days, especially, well, the last 10 days on holiday, and then a week before that was a wedding, was, has just been tiring non-stop. Anyway, let's do fit check first. Fit check. Love that, mashallah. Oh, damn. <laughs> code, code, code. So what they've done, they've gone for a 2D decor. So the idea is, your food should stand out. The only thing that's 3D in the shop is your food. Everything else is 2D, which is which, which looks quite yeah. sick. So let's go in now. I'll take over me actually. Should you take them over? Yeah. So we're sat over here. You can sit down. Yeah. So these are. Look. I think this is what they sell in London. This is how the decor looks on inside because it's all in 3D. Uh, 2D, sorry. Yes, we are just now getting food. Alright, guys, so the food has come. Over here, we've got a chicken and tomato sandwich. We've got my ice latte. It's a signature one. I'm sorry it looks pink. We've got some halloumi fries over here. My wife's got a hot chocolate and a rose signature milk cake. So if you're in Dubai, I would 100% recommend coming down, supporting the business. As you can see over there. It says free Palestine. It's free Palestine. And that is good to see. 
What's up guys? So as you can see, this is the end of the honeymoon, unfortunately. Back to work. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Back, Alhamdulillah, definitely. We're going back to a very safe environment, to our own house, Alhamdulillah. Goodbye Dubai. You want to say goodbye Dubai? Bye. Say bye. Bye. Say, you know my kids copy me, I say bye as they go in my classroom. <laughs> say bye Dubai. Bye Dubai. Nice. See you soon, See inshallah. You soon. With our parents? Yes, inshallah. Parents. That's our next, next goal, goal, inshallah. Let's go.